Hi everyone, I'm Karen Curry Parker. Welcome to the Understanding Human Design podcast. And I'm here today with one of my very favorite students who's been with me for quite a while now, Sandra Lee, who's going to be talking to us about how she integrates human design with biofield tuning. As an initiator type, a manifester, Sandra initiates people into alignment with their pure state of their essence, their preconditioned state, and brings them back into harmony with who they are. I was so excited to bring Sandra to you because I've been hearing whisperings in my students' community and in my practitioner community about, oh, Sandra did this thing with biofield tuning, and now I'm like back to the moment when I was born, and I'm totally clear. So I thought, I really need to tap into this and see, what is this biofield tuning? What is she doing? And uh, can it help me lose my quarantine pounds? <laughs> so, <laughs> I so, don't know about that. <laughs> so, Sandra, I'm so excited. Tell us about, okay, we have to start with the basics because I'm, I'm really kind of new to this. Talk to me about what is biofield tuning. Let's start there. So, at the most basic level, biofield tuning uses sound to clear blocks in your energy field. And so um, when people are in pain or they're stuck or they don't know what to do or they're overwhelmed, like all the craziness and the stress that's going on in the world right now, they can feel kind of, you know, like powerless Mm. and unable to move forward. And biofield tuning is the most effective way that I have found to very quickly get people grounded in present time calm and balanced. Mm -hmm. And from that place, they're much more able to then decide what do I want and what do I do Mm -hmm. about it? Um, And, you know, there are lots of people who in, you know, webinars and classes and things like that, I have done very short, like two minute tunings with people. Mm -hmm. And I have heard people say, oh, I loved it. And I felt so much better or my pain went away just from that couple of minutes. Mm -hmm. And then once people have experienced that, all they need to do is hear the fork once. And it's like they tap back in Mm -hmm. to Mm -hmm. that more grounded, balanced, calm, centered space. So do you just use one fork or do you have like a whole frequency of forks? I have... Three of these unweighted forks that have different different levels. So it's like that's what this one's one hand. That's what this one sounds like. And then there's this one. So it's like there's three of these. And then there's several I have that have weights on the end that you don't Mm -hmm. hear as much. And so the weight travels through the stem into the body. Mm -hmm. I'm using these. So I've been you probably know I've been a massage therapist for 28 years. Mm -hmm. And so this is what I use a lot to get energy moving through the body. Mm -hmm. What's really cool is that I'm doing these sessions like over the internet. Yeah. That was all over the place. (laughs) And I use this on the body in the energy field. It affects their body wherever they are. Wow. So, okay, so you're your lid. Your body as sort of a, or you're just doing it on like the... the... I, ha- I have a silhouette on my massage table uh-huh. that, I, that I drew around a person. So I have a body shape with chakras on it. And I use my tuning forks on my silhouette and the person, wherever they are, feels it. It's so cool. That's crazy. That's <laughs> amazing. I love that. See, I was going to just, I was going to ask you next, like, how are you doing this online? <laughs> so yeah. that- so cool. That is so cool. All right. So you've been doing human design for a while too. So how are you, how does this blend with human design and how are you using the two together? Well, I first started seeing the human design chart lay over the biofield when I was doing biofield tuning one time. And the place where I find, and I think you probably find that people struggle the most with human design is associated with dynamics of the throat. Mm -hmm. People being able to be heard, being able to get things done, you know, all these unmotorized throat people who really struggle with those issues. 
as well as you know being recognized and appreciated, all of those throat center issues. So they show up in people's bodies and their biofields too. So when I am working with the biofield and I'm working with this issue with the throat, particularly where I see it the most is the heart center mm. connecting to the throat, people being able to express who they are, to express what they need to be heard, how they feel, all those kinds of things. Mm -hmm. um, it shows up in the biofield. And so I often am working with that connection between the heart and the throat in mm. human design between the G and the will center, because that's the, the heart, you know, the heart chakra, the, the two divisions. So it's like working with that in the biofield, I'm finding affects people's ability to express themselves and get past those blocks that they have um, associated with the life that comes with the chart. Mm -hmm. Wow. So I, I'm just really curious now, what is, because because as I said, I have heard like amazing things from feedback from people. I want to know from you, what has been your most amazing story that you want to share based on the work you've done with people? Let me let me tell you about a sequence of sessions that I did with somebody. And this is somebody who I've done a lot of human design for mm -hmm. over the years. Mm -hmm. And then, um, you know, COVID and the shutdown and all that stuff happened. And this person was overwhelmed. And she got one of my regular newsletter emails and she thought, oh, I should call and, you know, ask for some biofield tuning. So she was overwhelmed, having a hard time just functioning just like normal day to day. And I did a biofield tuning session first. And so she calmed down, centered, released, overwhelmed. The next, we did a human design reading. And this person has already had multiple readings for herself and her family. But the human design reading helped her understand, oh, this is why I'm here. Mm. This is the part that I play in the world. This is how I serve. And this is why these things are happening in my relationships. So it's like it puts context onto what's happening in my life. And you know, that's what happens with human design, right? You look at what the design is, what the plan is, mm. and then, oh, this is how it's showing up in my life. How do I adjust what I'm doing in my life to be more consistent with my design? And then, so it's like the light bulbs go on. And man, in biofield tuning, we help the person be in alignment with it. Wow. And get past the blocks that they have to living their design. Mm -hmm. It's an amazing combination. Yeah, it's as I said, I have heard nothing but massive raves about how you do this. And I'm I'm really <laughs> I'm still really loving the idea of you're able to do this surrogately with a form on your massage table. That's amazing. So you work a lot with the connections between the heart and the throat and getting the biofield in a harmony with a healthy sense of empowerment and self-expression through the voice. You're getting ready to actually do some group sessions with people. Tell me a little bit about what you've got coming up. So Creating the Future is a series of three group sessions mm -hmm. where people all over the world can participate in this group. And I work with a hologram that represents everybody. And in this context, I find we often wind up working on both a combination of individual things, like the things that people personally are dealing with, plus global things, the sorts of traumas and issues that people have always had, so mm -hmm. archetypal types of things, plus just how we are dealing with, you know, the stresses and the things going on in the world. Because that's really, you know, hitting people pretty hard in their life purpose. Mm -hmm. And why am I here? And how is it I'm supposed to serve when all of this stuff is going on, right? So it's like helping people see themselves and then be able to move forward in the context of whatever they have that they're doing in life. And with this particular series, these the way I do these series is I have people write down their personal intentions, their personal issues, blocks, 
And if they know about human design, issues they have associated with their design. Mm. So it's like for projectors, really struggle with getting invitations, right? For manifestors and manifesting generators, there's like this whole issue associated with informing and, you know, all those sorts of things. Wherever people are struggling around their design, they get to write it down and send it to me. And I put it into a spreadsheet. And then I look at the issues that are common for everybody Mm -hmm. and work on those things in the sessions. Beautiful. So, so even though it's a group situation, people can bring their own challenges to the group and you're going to address them collectively, but also hitting those highlights in the individual. Yes. Yes. Cool. And okay. So I got to know, are you, are you using the silhouette on the table when you do that too? I do. (laughs) Okay. (laughs) That sounds amazing. All right. So um, is there anything else you want people to understand about what you're doing and any last words you have for us? Um, I want to share a little bit more about biofield tuning specifically. I also do a lot of work with um, the body Mm -hmm. and issues in the body. So when um, people are not able to be themselves, like if you take a manifesting generator and you suppress them, I recently did um, a session on someone who's five and the request that the parent had was, and he's manifesting generator, this child, right? We just kind of like him to slow down a little bit. (laughs) Like, oh, I wonder what the child's design is. And so I ran a chart and he is a manifesting generator. And so I did this tuning session on this five-year-old and already, I could tell that his energy centers, his chakra centers were closing down Mm -hmm. because of even the normal level of suppression that happens as people become conditioned to living in our world, right? right? You take a child who's normally just like running around manifesting generator and the parents are gonna get like, hey, sit down, be quiet once in a while, right? Mm -hmm. And a child, doesn't really have a way to understand that in an adult level. And so they naturally pull their energy in and suppress themselves. I already saw that happening in the energy field. Mm. And when over time that kind of suppression happens or not being heard or whatever it is that the person has in their experience, it shows up in the energy field consistently leading to symptoms down the line. Right. So it's like if somebody is never feeling like they're heard, they might manifest, you know, 40 years later, thyroid issues. Stress is on the shoulders and on the back. So I wind up doing a lot of work on the physical body as well, getting the energy flowing through the body. Mm -hmm. And for me to be able to do what I want to do here, expressing myself or doing things, I need to have energetic support and grounding Mm -hmm. flowing through. And so I start every session by connecting people to grounding, to the earth. If you want, we can do a short session right now. Short session, let's do it. Okay, so I am thinking about in this couple of minutes session, we're just gonna support people's ability to feel like they're heard. Okay. Whatever their type, whatever their design is. Okay. So I'm going to connect us to an earth star point, an energetic point below the feet that connects us to the earth and bring earth energy through the body and then connect us to a point above the head that we call the sun star that connects us to the sun and to God. Okay. And to bring sun and God energy in. Okay. All right. So connecting to the point below your feet that connects you to the earth. Stabilize it in that place. And then draw earth energy up from the earth star through your body and out the top of your head. Connecting the earth star to the earth and drawing even more supportive grounding earth energy into your body and through your body.
connecting now to the point above your head that connects you to the sun and to God. And drawing energy from the sun into your body, in through your body, connecting you to the ground. The sun star point is where we get inspiration and ideas and insight, energetic support, loving support from God. Drawing that in. Now bring your attention to your throat, the area where you express yourself, where you get seen and heard. These are understandings from the throat center in human design as well. So it's like allowing the energy to flow through your throat, connecting your heart center, your G and ego will center in human design, connecting it to the throat so that who you are can be heard and seen and recognized and appreciated. So feeling the energetic connection between the throat center and the heart center. And drawing support from the earth for your expression and being heard drawing support from the sun and from God for being heard and seen and appreciated. Feeling those supportive earth energies and sun energies flowing through your body. Back when you're ready. Amazing. And that's just really minutes. amazing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> so I have one last question for you. You, I want to talk for just a second about grounding because I think that, um, I think it's really fascinating that you start with grounding as your first step. What happens, what are the symptoms that people experience when they're not grounded? Stress, overwhelm, feeling unsupported, feeling unloved, lack of clarity, all those kinds of things, okay? Plus, you know, doing body work for a really long time. Here's how I describe it. Anytime I stub my toe, energy that should flow through the body Mm -hmm. gets chaotic. So if I stub my toe, I can't use my foot very well for a while. I can't stand on it very well. So it's, and it's not supporting me. So mm -hmm. It's like I limp around, right? So it's like any time there's any sort of block in my energy, meaning I'm not in that flow, it compromises my ability to function. Just like I can't walk on a stubbed toe foot, mm -hmm. I can't do my voice when I'm not in that flow. I can't do whatever I have to do with my physical body when I'm not in that flow. Mm -hmm. And another thing that causes that is fear, anxiety, danger. An instinctive response is to pull my energy field in, mm -hmm. in response to that. So imagine, you know, a small animal is being chased by a bear. It's afraid the bear is going to eat it. Right. And an instinctive response that little animal has is to curl up and pretend it's dead. So that maybe the bear will leave it alone. So it's an instinctive response. We are mammalian creatures who also have that kind of instinctive response to mm -hmm. danger. Right? Fight, flight, or freeze. You know, part of the fight or flight response, right. freeze is the other part of it. So when I am working with people's biofields all the time, I find that they have pulled their energy in in response to sometimes a whole lifetime of danger and stress. It compromises their ability to be here as the person who I want to be in the world doing my thing. Mm -hmm. If I'm pulling my energy in, I can't do that. 
Yeah. So I'm wondering, because I'm, you know, we're in the middle of COVID. We've got, you know, children all over the world on screens, going to school on screens. I'm wondering how that's impacting their grounding and their ability to feel supported. Have you Absolutely. seen something? Yeah. So being, you know, so it's like, you know how important community is. Mm -hmm. Connection. Right? Being able to see each other's faces. Faces and expressions are so important for children in particular to be able to develop neurologically. And well, you know, you're a child development specialist. You know how important that is, right? So, and also in response to COVID, unfortunately, people are being programmed, conditioned to be afraid of each other, of, you know, the potential for being harmed just by being outside and among other people. So thinking about how are people pulling their energy in mm -hmm. to protect, to buffer themselves from the world. And, um, you know, I'm really concerned about the post-traumatic stress that yeah. we're creating in everyone, children in particular, because they're so, so, you know, programmable at that point. So I love that you're that you also work with children. I think it's a very beautiful and sweet gift to give a child. So I encourage everybody to, if you've got children who are really wrestling with some of the things that are going on, to work with this energy because I think getting them aligned is hugely important to keeping them sustainable during this, you know, very disruptive cycle that we're in. So. Yeah. Another part of that is also. Um, working on the connections between people. Mm -hmm. so like in biofilm tuning, I can work on a relationship. So for a small child, for example, having them, you know, be aware of energetically and holding on to the connection with the parent that is mm -hmm. the stability they rely on. Because without it, they're even more afraid. Totally, totally. yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Well, cool. So your program starts October 31st. Registration mm -hmm. closes October 30th. But I'm assuming that uh, you want people to get in there as quickly as possible because you can only hold so many people in a room. So how can people connect with you, Sandra? There is a landing page on my website for mm -hmm. Creating Future, and it's miracleinspirations.com forward slash tuning. All right, so Miracle Inspirations with an yes. S, MiracleInspirations.com forward slash tuning, and go there to learn more information about Sandra's Creating the Future program so that you can sit there and just let yourself be dinged and donged and moved away with all the ma magical, powerful uh, sounds and energy transformations that she creates. And uh, you should also, if you haven't done so yet, contact Sandra and talk about your chart and what you need to do to really activate your heart and your throat so you can be in alignment with who you really are. And Sandra, thank you. I'm so excited because I, I've been so curious for so long and you know, I'm in my little human design hole and it's really, it's fun to hear all the different permutations um, of everything that everybody, all the specialists and all the guys are doing. I, I have to just end with this because I think uh, this really has struck me today because I've done a couple of interviews today and I'm blown away by how in a way human design is kind of like a muse. It's like it, it trickles down to all of my students, but nobody's like doing it the way that I taught. Everybody's going, oh, which is good. I'm not complaining about that at all. That's how I think it's supposed to be, frankly. But I love to hear all the permutations and all the different ways that human design as a system is sort of saying, ah, I think I'm going to go express myself through Sandra over here with biofield tuning. And I think I'm going to go over here and do it with intuition. And it's just so beautiful to see it all unfold. And I was saying to someone earlier, it's just really exciting. The last two years, there's been such a snowball of momentum about people really being courageous and powerful in interpreting this the way that works for them in alignment with what they do. So thank you for being a pioneer. Yes. Uh, well, and it also helps that you are assisting in the evolution. Thank you. 
that that's that's an honor. That's how I like to serve. So I appreciate that. Thank you. Yeah, because there are aspects of human design community that have been very the same old way. And it's like, no, anything that is powerful has the ability to evolve. Well, I would say anything that is powerful has to evolve. Has to. Yeah. That. that. <laughs> Otherwise it won't stay powerful. So awesome. So thank you, Sandra, for joining me. You guys go check out miracleinspirations.com forward slash tuning for Sandra's creating the future event. Go get your future created and enjoy reconnecting with your energy and the essence of who you are. I really appreciated our conversation today. Thank you for joining me, Sandra. Thank you. Bye. Bye.